music teacher here. Hope you like my little performance of Opus 60 number 15 by Fernando Sor. You guys know that I love Fernando Sor. That's why I'm going through his entire Opus 60 on this channel to show you guys how to play some of the most beautiful and most approachable classical guitar pieces. If you can play all of Opus 60, you are well on your way to playing some of the music of your dreams. And to be quite frank, Opus 60 is some of the music of my dreams. So this one is just past halfway through the Opus. It's a really cool, faster piece in E major. So we're gonna have a little bit more um, in terms of our sharps and things like that. But before we get to the lesson, I wanna remind you that I'm getting these scores off of the IMSLP. You can get this linked below. It's a free resource for everyone. I wanna spread free resources. Now, some of these I have to redo because some they're very old uh, prints and some of them have mistakes. This one doesn't have mistakes. So go to the IMSLP, download it. I suggest donating to them. There's more sheet music than you could ever play. Now, if you wanna support me a little bit, you can check out my books on Amazon linked below and you can also join my Patreon link below. And if you are already a member of my Patreon, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And you're probably already seeing this video early because I release all my videos early to my Patreon subscribers. So with all of that being said, let's jump right into this lesson. This one is a lot of fun. This one's a bit of a challenge and it's a lot faster. So let's just talk about our building blocks first and then I'm gonna walk you through how to play it step by step. So the first thing I want you to notice, all these sharps up there, that means we're in E major, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and D sharp. Now, if that sounds like gobbledygook to you, go check out my music theory lesson on my channel, the hour and 15 minute long one. Um, we're approaching a million people have watched it, so it must be good. Um, and that will kind of clear some of this up. I can't run through all the music theory in the video because, well, I've made already a video about it. Also, we're in 6-8 time. So we have two beats per measure in 6-8 broken into triplets. One and uh, two and uh, one and uh, two and, uh, right? Um, and we're gonna be starting off with a very solid one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one and uh, two and uh, one and uh, two and, uh, and so forth, right? So that's the rhythm. Um, six eight's a really great time signature, uh, but do not confuse it with three four. There's a lot of people out there talking about how you know six eight and three four. There's no difference. Don't confuse it with three four. We have two beats per measure, measure <laughs> broken up into triplets here, right? So let's run through kind of the chords first, and then I'm going to run you through all the fingerings. And now we're going to point the camera away from my ugly face so you can see my beautiful guitar. All right, here we go. And let's go ahead and just position it just a little bit like that. Okay, so first off, we're gonna be doing the first measure with a E major chord. So we have our open E, first fret of the G, and open B. The next measure is gonna have an A major chord, open A, and second fret of the G and B for the A and C sharp. After that, we're going to have a B7 chord, so that gives us second fret of the A, first of the D, second of the G, and open B, and then we go back to an E major chord. Instead of the low open E, however, we're doing second of the, of the uh, D string there with the third finger, and then your index on the first fret of the G, and of course open B after that. Now we're gonna be doing this thumb, index, middle, thumb, index, middle, thumb, and then we're gonna do thumb, index, and um, middle at the same time to get the, that bit with the three notes, and then thumb, index, middle. So we get one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. All right, so that's setting our pulse. Now, of course, this is allegro, so this is a pretty quick piece. We get dum, So we're gonna, it's gonna be moving pretty quick, but of course, good practice etiquette means that you should play this very, very, very slow when you're practicing it. Um, the video lesson doesn't always get that across, but when you're practicing this, we're gonna be going like really slow. I mean, go super slow and slowly speed it up. Um, so after that, after we go through this initial run of chords, then arpeggiate those chords further. So we get one and a, two and a. So that 
that's just holding your classic E major chord down, which is second fret of the A and D and first fret of the G, right? So we have low E, B, E, G sharp, B, E. And then we're gonna be going, what I like to do is keep my index down on the first fret there and just use it as kind of a leg to move these three fingers to the second of the D, G, and B. So we get ba. Now we're gonna do thumb on the A, index on the D, middle on the B, ring on the high E, and then I'd use the middle for the, or sorry, ring on the B, I use my middle finger for the high E, and then my index for the B again. So we get bum, 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 bum. So we get this kind of ba 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 ba. It's a cool way to cross the strings. Then we get a B7 chord again, um, with that same fingering. Um, now, of course, the B7, now we're adding that second fret of the high E in. So we have second of the A, first of the D, second of the G, open B, second of the high E, and then we get a low E, and then we're going to get second of the D, first of the G, and open high E. Now, that's how you play the first part. I want to talk about the chords and the Roman numerals. If this, again, sounds confusing to you, check out the music theory video. So we have one E major, then our four chord. A minor, A major, not minor. Then our five seven chord, B seven, and then back to the one chord, and then it's one four five seven one again, but with that. Right. So after that, we move into the second part, which is a bit trickier on the hands, I will say. So what you have to do is you need to slide up with your third finger to hit this F sharp. And you're going to keep this F sharp ringing for quite a while, guys. I mean, if you look here, let me get my circle. This F sharp starts there, but this is a tie all the way. All those four measures, you're going to let that F sharp ring through all four measures. So when we hit it, we have F sharp and then D sharp, C sharp, B, B sharp, so our D sharp is fourth of the B, C sharp is second of the B, open B, and we go fourth of the B, and then our second of the high E for our F sharp, and then we do F sharp, and then I'm gonna slur off to the open E. So it's like a plucking it off with your index. Um, second of the B, um, third of the, the G string there, second of the B again, and then we're gonna get our F again, and then we're gonna slur from open B to fourth fret of the B, um, then that F sharp again, and then B, um, fourth fret of the B for the D sharp index, F sharp up there, slur off, C sharp, A sharp, F, right? So in terms of what's going on here harmonically, we, we have our, that's a B major chord, that's our five chord, right? So this is an F sharp seven chord, which is five, seven of five. If that sounds crazy to you, check out my music theory video. I made that so that you could watch it separately. And then we have our slur. Um, that's another B chord, B major, our five chord. Slur, five, seven, a five. So pretty straightforward music theory there. So we have one and a two and a one and a two and a one and a two and a one and a two and rest. And then we go here to our D sharp next on the next line. So let me go ahead and move this thing up. Again, I'll play the, um, the performance again for you guys at the end of the lesson um, so that you can hear me play it again. So we have D sharp, open B, and then our F sharp, index and third. So we have bum, 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 bum. B, so D sharp, B, F sharp, F sharp, bum, 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 bum. Right, and then we're gonna move our index up to that E. Open B and our fourth finger G sharp way up fourth fret of the high E. So we have bum, 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 bum. So we have bum, 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 bum. So one and a two and a one and a two and a right. And we're going to be doing our F7, F sharp major seven. Sorry, not major seven, F sharp seven chord. Uh, so we have one and a two and a one, two. Now that is fourth of the D, third of the G, second of the C, open high E, and then in reverse. Um, getting that B, then G string again, and then our open B, and then second fret of the A for that octave lower B. So we have ba 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 ba. And we have kind of a reiteration of the beginning. There's only one slight change right there. Um, so you're going to have it. Let me grab my circle here. 
right here. Instead of just a G sharp and a B, we have an uh, open high E string with that too. But other than that, no difference. Right, so that's how you play that section. Um, <clears throat> now, of course, when we're counting this, we have one and a two, one and a two, one and a two, and a one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One and a two and a one and a two and a one and a two and a one, two. So it's a really fast, very lively, and might I say very Spanish sounding piece. Um, so this is a quick lesson, guys. This one's short, but this one's actually really challenging. So when you practice this, you need to practice it very slow with a metronome. You know, um, don't click dotted eight, dotted eight, uh, sorry, dotted quarter notes um, on your metronome. Click eighth notes so you get bump, 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 and slowly bring the speed of that metronome up until you can play this one all the way through. Again, this one's really short, but Man, it sure is challenging for, for those of you that are still building speed. So be very patient with yourself. Um, all of my students that study with me one-on-one -on -one know how big I am about being patient with yourself because there's no, there's no reason to lose patience. So without further ado, guys, you can download the score for this down in the link below. That's the from the IMSLP, which is a free resource for everybody. I wanna spread more free resources. I killed my music website, musicandguitarlessons.com, which was a paid membership. I wanna to move to more to a free thing, but if you still wanna donate money per month to keep these lessons coming out, um, I'm doing classical guitar lessons, strumming and picking at the same time, music theory, I may be doing some looper lessons with electric guitar and cello. I'm still wondering if I want to do that. Um, I'm getting a lot of material coming out and my mission is to practice um, spreading music education for free around the world even though I had to pay a buttload of money for my education. That doesn't mean that everybody on the planet can afford it so I'm doing my part to spread it around. If you want to scratch my back a little bit too check out that Patreon link. I think I have like nine people on there right now. You could be number 10. Make a big old smile on my face happen. All right, guys, without further ado, get out there and practice.